Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair Effect FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the start of the season 2030-2031. First of all, let me apologize. There might be a little bit of background noise. Um, there are a few computers. I'm sharing an office uh, with my partner. So his computers are very loud. They've got lots of fans in them. So um, yeah, ap apologies for that if you can hear it. Uh, hopefully the music will mask it a little bit. Um, so yeah, so this is the time where I show you the transfers that we did over the uh, summer break and also just talk a little bit about what the plan is for the season. So before I jump into this match, I was going to play Derby, but I thought, you know what, I'll jump in and show everybody the team. Uh, squad. There we go. So there are a few changes, more changes maybe than I thought there would be starting with goal so i thought uh, tyler dickinson would stay with us another season uh, but he decided to quit he thought over the the summer because a lot of the players left through retirement and loans he thought oh this this team isn't good enough i'm gonna leave he made i think a very big mistake but anyway it, it meant that we managed to secure uh neil nolan who's a new gen english 21 year old um, from Crystal Palace on loan to us. Uh, he is going to be the main goalkeeper, but uh, Alfie hasn't played yet this season, so I'm going to give Alfie this match. Uh, Alfie has become also a little bit frustrated because he had a bit from Chelsea. And uh, actually, let's see if he's still here. Show cancelled. Out. It's not here anymore. Uh, yeah, we, there was a, a bid from Chelsea, and I didn't want it because I, I didn't want to sell uh, another goalkeeper. So he got a little bit upset. That's why he um, decided that he wants to leave on a free, free transfer at the end. Fine by me, you know. Uh, hopefully by that time we'll have some better options out there for us anyway. Uh, we, we did lose on a little bit of money there, I suppose, but uh, it is what it is. So one change there with Nolan entering the squad. In the right side of the fence, we still have TJ, and we had actually a big blow in this uh, position. We couldn't find any decent players, so we had to go with Joe McGroth, and he's not very good, bless him, but he's going to do for now. Joe McGroth, it's a real-life player. He must be really young in real life, playing for a Hibernian, and uh, he joined us on a free, free deal. Left side of the fence, we have also one new player, this time on loan. Also a bit of a... Um, he's a bit better, I guess, but still not not the kind of player that we want to bring in. Uh, we hopefully would get somebody better in, but anyway. Thomas, he's uh, also a new gen, and he came to us from Northern Ireland. Center of defense, a few changes, and again, not very good changes either. On the wide defender role, we still have Ross Davis, who, you know, they're keeping rumors of him being poached eventually. And then the other player is Dan Casey, who's starting to get on a little bit. He might retire at the end of this season. Um, in the center, so in the non non nonsense center back position, we have one new player, Linda. Um, and he's a Portuguese player, um, he's very good, supposedly, and he's going to earn us some money, hopefully. He came from Braga in Portugal, he was out of contract, so we're hoping he can be... Like, a development player is not really amazing yet, although he's quite good with free kicks, I guess, uh, in comparison to some of our other players, even though it's only a 9, but... Yeah, so he's going to be a one to look out for the future, if we can hold on to him. Or maybe just make us some money at some point. And for the um, the bench, we have still Max Ross. He's been with us for a few seasons now. And then in the, the, the um, central defender part, we still have Max. And he's been with us for ages now, it seems. And we have Diego... Azokar again. He was with us a couple seasons ago on loan and he's with us again on loan. Um, this time he moved to Chilean Everton, not Everton Everton. 
so yeah, so he's with us again. He's actually our latest confirmed um, transfer. This is why I was going to potentially delay the episode a little bit, because he hasn't played for the team yet. Um, actually, him and Alfie haven't played yet, so it's, uh, this is going to be their first match for us. And then down into the midfield, we have two new defensive midfielders. And there's actually one transfer that we did that earned us a little bit of cash. So first transfer was Marvelous uh, Nakamba, 36 years old, he's pre-retirement and he's been in a few places, he's been to France, he's been to the Netherlands, Belgium, went to Aston Villa for a while and then lately Luton and then finally just before us he went to China and I guess he's going to retire with us. Um, yeah, he's already confirmed that he's going to retire. The other one, also potentially a retiree at the end of the season, is Noroyuki Mae. He's a Japanese player that played in Japan mainly, but also in Qatar lately. So he could be quite good. And then obviously that position will open up some free gaps for next season. We'll essentially have two new players again next season. And hopefully those players, uh, once we sort through our finances, they will be better. The player that left was our own Alistair Clifford. He joined us a while back um, on quite an expensive transfer, actually, uh, half a million. We've managed to sell him just for just over a million with some clauses attached as well. Um, so we recouped the money and made a bit more. Basically, we doubled, more than doubled, how, how much we paid for him, which is nice. In the midfield, we have two new loanees, uh, Nino Masuch, German, 19-year-old Nugen. By the way, if you want to sponsor a Nugen, head over to the um, uh, Patreon and you can sponsor a Nugen for something like four quid, five quid. And then we follow them, the life of that Nugen. Anyway, so uh, he's joined us from Bayern 4, from the Bundesliga, I think. That's, is it Bayern Munich, that one? I can't remember. Anyway. Um, and then the other one for that position, for the midfield, is David Moran. He's an Irish player. Uh, yeah. Playing for Scotland previously, apparently. Also a uh, new gen. Right side of attack, we still have Nathan Vlami. And then we finally managed to secure a loan for Ben Hames. We had him on loan before, but we tried to get him on loan again. Last season, we didn't do it. This season, we got him for a stupid amount of money. So this, I might live to regret this. It's quite an expensive loan. But um, we kind of needed to reinforce the front. Left side, no changes. Riley Owen still there. And also, uh, Matial Maviva also still there. In attack, only one new striker. We still have uh, Max Guthrie. Um, he's going to leave eventually. It's just a matter of time. But we got on a permanent deal, um, Emre Tesjel, English, it kind of almost sounds like a Belgian name, but like um, English um, player who was playing for Stoke uh, at the start of the game. I wonder if he's got Belgian, oh, Turkish. That makes sense, I guess, French is what they speak in Turkey. Cool. Okay, so that is the squad. It's better in some places and a lot worse in other places. So I'm not aiming for anything higher than we finished last season. Last season we finished in 11th. Uh, this season I'm kind of aiming for the same. Our squad is not better. So I don't think we'll get into the playoffs. Um, competitions wise, we managed to get through the first round of the Carabao Cup. We're going to play Bristol next. And I think that is essentially the vision is to get into the second round, I think. Let's go ahead and play the first match. Um, actually, let me just see if um, Diego fits into any of this. No. No, okay, cool. Let's just go ahead. I still have to sort out the... Um, the personal training, the individual training. I always go around and do the individual tra individual training for everyone at the start of the season. But I was waiting for the final player to arrive. So I'll do that after the episode. Let's get you onto full screen. Yep, 
Yeah, so in other news, the stadium expansion did not go ahead. We were supposed to have an expansion of 2,000 seats in our stadium over the summer, but that's been postponed for next summer, and instead of 2,000, it's going to be 3,000. So the reason the board gave was um, they didn't have any funds at the end of the season, so they were hoping to get some funds at the end of next season. My prediction is it's not going to happen and it's going to be postponed again uh, because we already burned through all of our money, improving again the youth recruitment, the youth facilities and the training facilities for the senior squad. So the youth recruitment is now above average and I don't know what it's going to be for training. I think it was already great for training and youth training. So I think it is going to be whatever is above great. I don't know what that is. I can't remember off the top of my head. So the facilities for training for both senior and youth are great at the moment. So got uh, great training facilities, exceptional youth coaching and above average youth recruitment. And we are in the process in the next four months, I think, or three months. The training facilities and youth facilities will be upgraded again to whatever comes after great, I guess. Superb, I think that's, ne- or maybe excellent. I don't know, I don't. I can't remember what the levels are for that. I could actually look at it off, off screen. Let's have a look. Let's have a look if I can find out. So, training facilities, FM 2024. So yeah, so um, after great, it's excellent. So that's what we're going to be upgraded to. Excellent training and excellent youth training. So I'm looking forward to that in the next few months. That obviously attracts better players and also it enables us to develop our current players um, quickly as well. So, based on all of that, I'm going to predict... So, we're not going to get promoted this season. Uh, no... Next season, or the season... I think it's going to be about four seasons before we can realistically get promoted. Um, I don't know if that, how that kind of aligns with the schedule for this version of the game. Because obviously then in October, mid to late October, we'll have the beta of 2025, we hope. And that's going to be a big change. So I'll try to jump into that straight away. Um, I'm not going to do this thing where I'm going to delay buying the game or anything. I'm just going to go in for the beta. Uh, provided that my laptop can cope with it, should be able to cope with it. Um, so provided that my laptop can cope with it, I'll jump into the beta as soon as it comes out and start recording videos and showing you how 2025 is. I wasn't expecting such a heavy defeat against Derby. I don't know where they are in the table, but um, yeah, it seems quite heavy. We haven't won yet for the league. We've drawn our two matches 
for the league so far. Uh, the first one we I think was three all, and the second was one all I think I want to say. And the playoff for not the playoff. What do you mean? The, the, well, I mean the um, um the knockout for the Carabao Cup. I think nil nil, but we won on penalties. So we haven't actually won a match in regular time this season, which is why I'm saying it's going to be a tough season and we're not going to get promoted. We're not going to get relegated either though. That's good. Um, I think we're going to be staying clear of the relegation zone, but, but we're not going to get promoted this season, not, not even close. The reason for that is we, even though we make quite a lot of money in the off season, at the moment, we are pulling all of those funds across to facilities. Get our facilities up to scratch. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to take... Um, I want to say... Three seasons... Um, to get the facilities up to scratch. Plus an extra season to get our stadium up to scratch. So four seasons. Plus another season to get a decent go at transfers. S maybe even two. So they'll be talking about like six seasons to go, I think, before we can get promoted. That's a long time. That's a very long time. So I don't know if we'll make it before we start playing the beta for 2025. Okay, that is all for today. It's a heavy defeat against Derby, so I hope we can recover from that. But you kind of you kind of see the process. It's it's not necessarily about getting promoted all the time. I think it's going to be now us putting the money into facilities, trying to develop that as much as possible. And then once we have stabilized uh, our finances, because at the moment we're draining the, our finances, obviously, because we're using it all for developing f facilities. Once we stabilize that, which we are able to because we, we get a healthy amount of money in the off season, then we'll be able to get promoted. So just to give you an idea, we got at the end of last season nearly five million from, from just playing in in the league. And then another six million from season tickets and sponsorship so that is 11 million we're making in the off season so you can kind of see the sort of investment that's gone into the club so 11 million so 7 million of that went into ground maintenance um, a million or two went into uh, bringing us back up a nudge from that that we were in and then two million went into um, into transfers. So yeah, all of that money got used up in ground maintenance, transfers, and also relieving our debt a little bit. So that's why we need to have a season or two after we complete plating our facilities just to get that budget. Uh, for the transfers up to scratch. Okay, thanks so much for watching till the end. I will come back in the winter as I always do to show you the progress. And um, yeah, that's it. So check out the Patreon if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching till the end. Take care. See you next one. Bye bye.